Hi, this is Molly Azan Harrison with the Zahn Group at eXp Realty. And today we want to talk about what's going on in our current real estate market. In recent news, the National Association of Realtors, or NAR, reached a groundbreaking $418 million settlement around a commissions lawsuit that has been the talk of the real estate industry. This settlement has caused a lot of confusion amongst industry professionals and consumers alike. However, it will most likely cause less disruption to the industry than may be expected. The full result of the settlement is yet to be fully clarified. However, we do expect changes in the industry to appear around July of this year. So let's take a moment and settle and break the settlement down as to what it really means for you as a consumer. For buyers, if you are looking to purchase a home, there are two large changes that are going to be seen. Number one, you're now going to be required to sign a brokerage agreement with your agent prior to viewing houses. Now, this agreement will stipulate what your agent fees are for their services. As a buyer, you have always signed one of these agreements prior to placing an offer on a home. However, now you will need to sign it actually this prior to actually viewing properties. This will require you as a buyer to interview your agent to ensure that they are a proper fit for your services that you desire. We have actually attached a list of questions that you should consider asking your agent if you are in the market for buying a new home. All right. Secondly, currently buyers agents are, buyer agents are offered commissions through the cooperation of the MLS, and these fees were typically paid for by the seller. With this new rule, the MLS will no longer be allowed to display these fees for each property. However, the seller will still be able to offer commission to a buyer's agent as part of negotiations if they so choose. Now, there are incentives for sellers to attract buyers to the home. The prediction is, is that most sellers will still offer some compensation for commissions or they'll be willing to pay for closing costs for buyers to compensate for this added expense. Currently, the lending laws allow a seller to pay up to 3% of your purchase price and closing costs for the buyers. And whether or not we see changes in this requirement are yet to be determined. Unfortunately, the buyers that we find that will suffer the most from these changes are first-time home buyers. They are unfortunately competing against cash offers in the current market and may not have them as much flexibility or liquid funds to be able to cover these added, added expenses. However, although it could be a little bit more challenging for these buyers, it is not impossible to find them a great home that they can afford. All right, let's look at the sellers. If you are looking to sell your home, you may have a little bit more advantage with these new rules in the current market. It has been discussed if this rule could actually serve to lower home prices since sellers no longer have to pay the buyer broker commission. However, with the limited inventory in the market in today's world, this is a very unlikely outcome. The inventory shortage has kept home prices elevated, and if interest rates do come down by the end of the year as predicted, home prices could actually rise even further as more buyers enter the market. However, we all know that interest rates are not the only factor that cause buyers to move. It's always life forces that are the true tipping factor as to whether or not a buyer enters the current market. As a seller, these new rules do give you an advantage to negotiate commissions with your agent and allow you to shop for and pay for the services that you are looking for. However, keep in mind that working directly with an unrepresented buyer could open you up for more legal ramifications as buyers that are uneducated in the real estate transactions and don't want to pay real estate commissions will be looking to work directly with the seller or the seller's agent. This opens the door for more legal claims for misrepresentation or in general, more buyers backing out of deals because things go wrong. This could leave the seller potentially in a bind with moving forward on their own future plans for their future transactions. Keep in mind these rules were set in place to increase transparency and competition in the real estate industry as a whole. However, buying or selling a home is one of the largest financial decisions that most people will ever make. Using a professional real estate agent to represent you is always the best decision. A professional agent will sell hundreds of houses over their career versus a consumer maybe two to five in their lifetime. Your realtor has far more experience and expertise in these areas and can greatly protect you during these transactions to ensure that you are making a good investment for yourself and for your family. We have attached a reference guide for you to use as to what professional agents should actually be doing for you. It's a great reference to review before you're looking to enter this market. As the Zon Group, we actually go above and beyond for our clients and our services will not change with these new changes that are forthcoming. We feel these changes are for the best for the industry and for the consumers, and we will look forward to working with you soon. We are always here for you. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to us, either phone, email, or text, or simply put comments in the uh, comment section down below.
below. We are always here for you to answer any questions that you might have about your specific situation as you're entering the buying or selling market.